In this video, we'll show you how to create your first form using our simple drag and drop form designer. Log into your Fravo Cloud account. Click the blue plus button and select create a new form from the menu that appears. In the dialog that appears, add to a new project or choose an existing project. If you're already on the project page, this dialog will not appear. The form designer appears. On the right is the main canvas where you actually design the form. At the top left, there's a rich palette of controls. The standard HTML controls, text, text area, dropdown, radio, and checkbox. In addition, there are predefined controls like email, money, and phone. Several grouping controls like sections, repeats, and tables, and other controls like messages, links, and uploads. We'll take a look at several of these as we go along. Below that is the custom palette. You can create your own controls by combining standard Fravo controls and publish them for later use. We'll cover it in a separate video. Below that is the Properties panel. It shows the properties of whatever you happen to have currently selected. Right now, we have no controls, so the panel is empty. The Data Sources panel is an advanced topic and will also be covered in a separate video tutorial. Let's create our first form. Click the form name at top left and change it to Client Information. Now. Drag a section control from the palette and drop it into the canvas on the right. Notice as you drag, an icon at the top right will indicate where the item will drop. The section will have a default label. Click the label and it becomes editable. Change it to client information. Now we'll add controls to the section. Drag a text control from the palette and drop it inside the section. Click the label and change it to first name. Notice that the properties panel at left now shows the properties of this control. Check the required property at the bottom. See that the control background changes color to indicate that it is required. Click on the Style tab and set the width to six grid columns using the selector at the top. We'll discuss grid columns and layouts in a separate video. Drag another text control from the palette and drop it to the right of first name. Make sure the icon indicator at top right shows a right arrow before you drop. See that the control drops to the right and is automatically six grid columns wide, so it fits to the right of first name. Change the label to last name and check the required property once again. Similarly, drag and drop an email and phone control to the right. Change their labels to email address and phone number respectively. Experiment with drag drop. You can drop to the right, left, above, or below most controls. When you drop to the right or left, the new control has the same width as the control you're dropping on. If you drop above or below, the new control is always 12 columns wide. Drag and drop a date control above the section. The icon while dragging should show an upward pointing arrow. Change the label to today's date. A variety of date formats are available, but we suggest leaving this setting at automatic. Notice that you can change the control type to date, time, or date time for different functionality. Click the style tab in the properties panel and change the width to three grid columns. Now let's take a look at some properties using the email address control. Select it and in the properties panel, change the error message to, you must enter a valid email address. If the user enters invalid data, this error message will be displayed. Set the hint and placeholder to enter a valid email address and the help text to email address must be entered in a valid format. See that the hint message shows up on hover, the placeholder text appears in the control, and the help text causes a help icon to appear. Clicking the icon displays your help text. Let's display a custom message when the user submits the form. Click on settings and form actions. In the message box, enter thank you, first name, last name for your submission. First name and last name are examples of templates. Templates are specified by surrounding the name of a control in your form with curly braces, and all dialogs have autocomplete functionality built in. Bravo will use the values entered in the first name and last name fields by the user to dynamically create the display message. Let's try out this form. We've set all controls to required. Click the wand icon and the form appears in a pop-up window. You can fill out the date using the date picker or type it in using a variety of formats. Example, August 12th, 2020. Fill in first and last names. Empty controls displaying a yellow background are required. Required controls must contain valid data in order to submit the form. When you click the Submit button, any invalid fields will be highlighted with an orange background color, and you must correct the data in these fields in order for the form to be submitted. For email address, if you make a mistake, you'll see that Fravo immediately tells you that there's an error 
and the error message we configured earlier is displayed. The phone number must also follow one of the patterns allowed or an error will be displayed. When all fields are valid, click the Submit button to submit the form. The display message we configured will appear. If you want to see how the form will look on a tablet or smartphone, click the tablet or smartphone buttons at the top of the test screen. In the next video, we'll use the table control to create an order line items grid.